Go and do the chapel and we're gonna get married. Go do the chapel and my neighbors probably like shut the f up. Anyways, cheers, cheers to marriage and weddings because I am all for it. I just went to a friend's wedding this past weekend in Detroit and it was magical and it was so much fun. Oh, and I just punched my hand. And I talked about it in my recent pickle talk. So if you wanna go check that out, see some behind the scenes footage. See some behind the scene footage. It's all there. We're cheers into that. Let's cheers to love. Who doesn't love love, you know? The topic of today's video is uh, not so jolly. It's wedding moments being ruined. POV, you think it's a good idea to have a beach wedding in June until you have a beach wedding in June. Uh, nah. The heat alone. I'd be sweating through that dress. Realizes there are hundreds of people right where we are getting married. Oh, it's not a private beach? Oh my. Oh my God, it's just like an open beach. Everyone's just chilling in their little under. Oh my God, it's so windy. The wind and veil do not mix at all. Oh my gosh, the wind in your hair. Oh my gosh, look at your hair. <gasps> you know what though? Like seeing all that footage, I'm like, I bet there's some pictures that are so like beautifully captured and so real and in the moment and you're happily married. And I'm just a little confused that why the, was it set up literally in the middle of like the beach? Like someone is in their thong bikini right behind you. Usually it's a little more intimate, even if it's not a pub, like a private beach, that's expensive, but a little more private. <laughs> Wedding planner allegedly hung the dress from the sprinkler, but the bride is mad at the hair and makeup person for leaving and sharing the video. I wonder. Ooh, the tea. I'm sorry. Oh. 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 Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, everything's ruined. The bride's dress that was probably the one hanging, completely destroyed. Oh my God, the makeup lights, everything. Poor everybody, this sucks for everyone involved. Terrible, and I've actually, I know some makeup artists, and even when I've been at weddings, I've chatted with the makeup artist doing like my face, and I always like, their kits are so impressive, and I'm like, that's gotta cost you so much money, and they've like been straight up and told me like the entire cost of their makeup kit, and that's their livelihood. That is their full-time income, destroyed. Like to even replace all that would be thousands. I've been waiting to tell the story, but I've been so pissed pissed off and finally it's been a month since my wedding and so now I can tell you to not plan an event oh, at this establishment. Dang. I appreciate people who spill the tea and they're not like oh I'm not gonna tell you about the establishment. No tell me because if it was that bad of an experience I don't want to go there. Drop the name sis. She did. What is it? Ritual Rooftop Restaurant Lounge. Oh dang. And they got some good stars. Oh boy. Let's see what they did. I love Charleston. I've never had a problem but holy sh I was in communications with this woman. I'm gonna show all the emails. I blocked out her name. She was the event coordinator. Okay, that's nice that she blocked out the woman's name. Okay, I understand that. At Ritual. We went back and forth and we coordinated everything and my wedding was on a Sunday. So she says on Sundays, we normally close around 11.30, blah, blah, blah. But if you want to come, we can keep it open as long as you are here by midnight. It says, if you're not here by midnight, you'll be charged as a late fee unless you let us know of your late arrival. It says it right there. So anyone who's gotten married knows that after the wedding, you're sad, it's over, it's mayhem, mm -hmm. everyone's running around getting mm -hmm. shuttles, okay? But I managed to email her at 11.33 
just saying we're on the way you know we're a little bit later than expected because i told you oh, we were gonna no. get there at 11 30 but that will be there probably before midnight so those who did not come in the shuttle drove straight there and they got there quicker they were there at around 11 45 and they were told that they weren't allowed to enter and it was 11 45 so i got on the phone with them and i'm like okay well we're in the shuttle we're almost there so i'll deal with it once we're there so i get there at like 11 55 okay it is before midnight definitely before midnight the bouncers are outside like this i'm rolling in with in my f dress with 50 of my friends and family and the bouncers would not even let us speak to the management they're like the manager went home blah 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 so now i'm calling the event coordinator i'm like what the hell is going on why won't you let us in oh my god this gosh. is ridiculous we had a planned event she has my credit card information so now i'm like what the f gonna happen the icing on the damn cake okay the bar was on a rooftop we were on the bottom floor waiting they threw a bar mat at us look how what? big that is okay almost hit my friend who's standing right there and stepped out of the way and i swear the security guard said holy crap that could have broken someone's neck yo do you guys even realize how heavy those bar mats are the only reason i know is because i used to work at a bar and before I even became a bartender, I started at the bottom, you know? I was doing this. I had to clean the mats. I had to lift the mats. Those things are thick rubber and so heavy. From a rooftop, that literally could have broken someone's neck. So they're up there throwing at us while we're standing outside. Now it starts to rain. I'm like, holy sh I'm here with all my guests. Oh my gosh, and it's I said raining. To the security guards, I'm like, you're really gonna f your business because now all 60 of us are going to go on google reviews and we drop them down a few levels of reviews but then of course they had their staff come in and leave other five star fake reviews we were in like a review war i'm like i don't need this my wedding night whatever f it now i just had to go home so they ruined my wedding night thank you for that and Terrible. the next day when i finally spoke to someone it wasn't the original woman that i spoke to in my emails but she wouldn't apologize and she said she stands behind her staff 100 percent and that they were not at fault so if you're in charleston go somewhere else and do not plan your after party here wow that is some tea oh especially because you have the emails which says before midnight and you all arrive before midnight but even if you're gonna be late let us know you gave your credit card you had an event planned an event this is not just like made a reservation for eight people for dinner and i'm late an event a wedding event that's wild the fact that if they're even still open that's mind-boggling to me especially with the bar mat <laughs> Was that champagne? <gasps> no! Oh my gosh! What is that? That was so uncalled for. What was that? It was like champagne, alcohol, and then baby powder? What, did you just have that in your back pocket? That's not even funny. I dare someone to try that with me. I could just go on such a rant right now. It's not even worth my energy. It did not happen to you, girl. Chill. He threw a jacuzzi wedding. What the hell is a jacuzzi wedding? And his wife is allergic to chlorine and water. What show is this? It's a slip and slide. I'm not going down the slip. <laughs> There's a slip inside. I, I imagine he wanted us to get married in one of the jacuzzis. She's literally allergic <laughs> to chlorine and water. Thousand pounds on the tubs. <laughs> but how will Haley feel about a wedding that she can't fully immerse herself in? What is this? phone pause did y'all just see that priest chilling in the freaking hot tub waiting for the bride and groom to hop in what is going on what show is this and then all the guests and things there's like the bridal party the wedding parties just chilling in other hot tubs i'm so uncomfortable <laughs> He said, like, I forgot about that chlorine thing. Oh my god, they're all in bridesmaid dresses. This is tripping me out. Is this show comedy? Was this script? Please, please tell me this is like a funny scene in a movie. Random kid ruins your first dance. Look at this footage. Woo! Oh, there's the child. Oh, there's the child. Very close. 
Where are your parents? Little guy. He's just having a good old time in that fog. He's like, yo, check this out. Look at this smoke. Look at this. Check me out. That was some beautiful footage though. I don't know. Maybe we can crop it, edit around it somehow. I don't think so. Cause that kid was literally, he could have been standing on a dress for all we know. <gasps> oh! No. No. Oh, she's crying. She's crying. That's okay. We had this debate in a recent video about the whole like putting the cake in someone's face thing. I don't find that funny. I don't find it funny. It would irritate the absolute hell to me. I don't know what PSA I need to give for my wedding day. Do I need to write it on the invite? No one put cake in my face. It's not funny. Also, a waste of cake and cake is precious. I was trying to get a shot with the couple in the airplane and Karen here decided to ruin our shot. There is no room there. How did she even try to ruin this? I was trying to get a shot with the couple in the airplane oh, no, and no, 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 no. Karen here decided to ruin oh, our my shot. Gosh. First of all, do you know how cool that shot would have been? Seeing that airplane come in so low right behind them as they're kissing, right at the end of the pier by the wall. Oh my God, that would have been magical. That would have been magical. And you probably waited so long for that freaking plane to land. Now you're gonna have to wait for another one. Ma'am, where are you going that you can't wait 30 seconds? You see there's literally a bride and groom standing there and a man with a massive camera. Even if you just said, oh, excuse me, I just need to get by. And they would say, oh, we're just gonna get this airplane shot no problem, then you can just go. Oh, that would have been epic. I was just not pleasing you. No, honestly, Mom, this was like the one job that you wanted to do and it's sh**. Oh my God. Right, is this the one? Yeah, I've got five of them. Oh, look at this, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Come on. Oh, shit. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Mom, did you actually get five of these? Yeah. We had this whole conversation. I said, don't get anything clinky. Don't get anything long. And whatever you do, it's just not pleasing you. Are these bridesmaid dresses? I got five of these. So that's not her dress. I saw the white and I thought it was her bride's dress. No. Oh. These. It's so mad. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What was the thing that I said? The material is really nice. No, no. I said, I said, go to the shop, get one that you can take back with a receipt so we can have a look at it. Yeah, we don't want to do it really hard to get. I mean, I've got nothing with it. The whole front of the dress is white. In, like in any photo from the front, it would look almost like a wedding dress. That's so sticky too, because if mom's buying the dresses and she took the time to go and then you're coming off very ungrateful. But I also understand because the whole front of the dress is literally white. And if you had conversations about what you were looking for, short, not long, not clingy material, not white. Uh, we just need to better communication. We gotta get through this. Mom, I appreciate your efforts. However, I am disappointed because this, what can we do? What are the options? She already bought five of them. Can we return them? We gotta figure it out. A banana boat crashed this beach wedding in the Philippines. It drove past while the ceremony was happening. So the romantic moment was hilariously ruined by the screams of people on a thrill ride. Mike, you just have to call the shot. <laughs> Oh my gosh! And the last, which is far important, is this. <laughs> it says in Ephesians that husbands love your wives as Christ oh, loves the church. Oh, I love that. To mind, oh, I love oh. that though. I mean, I'm, maybe I love it because I'm not the bride, but guys, I got to confess something here. I accidentally ruined someone's wedding as well by something very similar. I was in Cuba. I was on a little paddle boat, you know, little bicycle ones with uh, two of my friends here and we were cruising along and the way the water kind of went around this whole rocky area type thing 
we're coming around and I'm on the paddle boat having the time of my life and there just so happens to be a wedding and obviously they're in the wedding and they're doing all their wedding photos and everything and there's literally us in the right there in the back of their pictures and I was like I'm so sorry and if you guys know paddle boats it's not like a little speed boat where you can just quick turn around quickly get out of there so we're trying to freaking bicycle and get out of their wedding pictures <laughs> I'm like posing in the back so I'm like well at least we could try to like look nice and be like Woo! Like, congratulations! Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. To enjoy and as well as sorrow. <laughs> oh! I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you that unconditionally. Echoed. <laughs> to support you in your goals. They are laughing and I love that they're laughing, but those two have to be in so much pain. That crack, that would hurt so bad. You're in so much pain right now. I love that you're trying to laugh it off, but I just hope she doesn't have like a goose egg or a bruise for the rest of the pictures after this. Oh, uh, what? Ew! Ants everywhere! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> and look at all the tulle and the layers of your dress. No. Mortifying. No! Oh, she looks beautiful though. just to know how many's in there and they're probably crawling up towards your body. <laughs> what a disaster. I mean, better ants than like biterness. Ooh, I don't even want to think about that. See? No! Oh my gosh, no. They just always gotta take it too far, you know? The little face thing, you might have been able to get away with it, but then he starts smearing it in her hair, and then that just pisses me off, y'all. And that's why I'm getting out of here, before I get angry. So stay classy out there, stay sassy, and I'll see you tomorrow.